The start of the World Cup football in Brazil 2014 was something I was looking forward to for a long time. Because a quadriplegic would be riding on the pitch in his wheelchair, stand up from his wheelchair and do the kickoff. So yesterday I was watching Brazil against Croatia and I saw the players come onto the pitch. But nothing happened, so I was very disappointed. Where was this incredible moment that was promised by Miguel Nicoleles, a Brazilian professor and scientist that became famous for his experiments on monkey brains. And he promised that a quadriplegic that was paralyzed with his complete body would walk onto the pitch in a mind-controlled exoskeleton suit and would perform the kickoff of the World Cup 2014. His promise got a lot of media attention and a video promoting the event went viral yesterday. In fact, something did happen, but it turned out that the kickoff was not at the start of the game, but it was part of the opening ceremony. But it didn't happen in the middle of the field. It happened somewhere at the sidelines. And unfortunately, a lot of TV stations missed this moment. This is how it was broadcast. moment here to demonstrate the workings of a robotic exoskeleton designed here in Brazil to help disabled athletes perform more freely. It took exactly three seconds. Let's watch it again in slow motion. The name of this guy is Juliana Pinto and he is a 29 year old paraplegic and he's standing here but he's being held upright by the two men next to him. But did he indeed stand up out of his wheelchair, walk a little and then do the kickoff? But maybe the cameras missed it. I don't see a wheelchair behind him. But the professor tweeted that he thought that his goal was achieved. Controlling a robotic suit with the power of your brain is extremely difficult. This is probably why we only see Juliana make this one simple move. But is it really necessary that he controls the suit with his brain? After he gave the kick, we see him raise his arm in celebration, which means that his arm is functioning. If he would have worn a different robotic suit, one that is controlled by movement in the upper torso or by clicking a button, he would be able to give a much better demonstration. I know, because I'm a paraplegic myself. And two years ago, I was the first person in the Netherlands to walk in a bionic suit. And it was one that was made in America. A demonstration team came to my rehabilitation center and they put it on. And a few minutes later, I was walking around in it. And I am convinced that if Juliana would have wore this other robotic suit, he would have been able to ride in his wheelchair up on the pitch, stand up from it, take a few steps and then kick the ball as promised like every other paraplegic that would wear this other exoskeleton. As a matter of fact, I think this demonstration in a Dutch television show two days ago did a much better job. Yeah, yeah. Can I see it? No, jongens. Komt dat schot? Ja, niet spotten, Manuel. Nou, dat is wel. But as this was Brazil and this was Miguel Nicoleles, his project and his specialty is controlling robotics with monkey brains and now also human brains. Poor Juliana didn't walk onto the pitch, but he had to be carried there in a golf cart. A lot of robotics already exist for people that are paralyzed from the chin down. And those robotics can be controlled by their voice or their eyes or by their chin. And they don't need risky brain operations that have the risk of, of bleedings or infections and can result in brain damage. Of course, there are people that are completely paralyzed and cannot move any muscles. They suffer from the locked-in syndrome and they could really benefit from robotics that are controlled by the brain. But I doubt that walking around in a robotic suit would be on top of their list. I think they would be much happier if the technology would help them close the curtains, turn on the television, help them eat or move their wheelchair around or talk to their families. I certainly hope that Dr. Miguel Nicoleles will continue his good work. 
in two years there will be the Olympics, again in Brazil. A nice chance to get it right this time.